Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to do holding patterns uh, with a VOR in the TBM 930. So this is our weapon of choice today. It's wonderful livery. And there's no better place to do it than St. Martin. Um, so we're holding here at 6,000 feet and we are going to do a holding pattern we're gonna first intercept the view or find out where we are do a holding pattern and then we'll do the approach in this video we're just gonna concentrate on the holding pattern um, I'll put the approach as a second video to this so it's gonna be two parts this is part one and then part two will be the approach okay before we start we're gonna need one or two things we are first gonna need an approach plate so it looks something like that uh, let's pause this so we're going to be doing a view of Yankee runway 10 uh, for Cat A and Cat B aircraft. We are in a Cat B aircraft. So what we're going to do is we're going to tune in to 113.0 Papa Juliet Mike VOR. And what's that gonna, what that's going to do is the CDI in our aircraft will tell us which bearing we're at to the station. And then what we do is we'll fly in and then we'll do a simple holding pattern and then we'll carry on from there a um, few things that you need to note number one you need to have the frequency number two you're going to need the inbound cost which is 096 in this case and if you're going to do the approach you're going to need to know the MDA which is your minimum decision altitude you need to know your airport elevation and the sector low saves all that in a later video but for today we're just gonna in this video we're just going to concentrate on the VR itself okay cool so what can we do firstly you're going to tune up the frequency so come down here click on MFD no correction click on NAVCOM click on audio and radios NAV1 what we're going to do is we're going to adopt the frequency the frequency needed is 113.0 so we're going to come over here all right I've already dialed in if you haven't already dialed in just dial 1130 and click on transfer straight away and bang there we go it's right here okay you know you've done it up correctly if um, it says Papa Juliet Mike 113.0 so you have the correct um, frequency dialed up okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our lives a little bit easier um, I've got the bearing indicator set up here so in order to get that just go to PFD settings go to bearing one you can select through the different uh, bearings so I have bearing one selected um, so I have nav one selected on bearing one and it shows me how far I am to the station so that's very useful um, if we need to plan on this since I'm here 6,000 feet um, and the lower save for this sector is 2,600 feet so how do we know where we are in okay if you look at the tail of the needle it is about what four five zero five five from the station so in order to f in order to f um, know where we are, that's that's basically we are basically on the zero five five radio so first things first is we need to fly to the station so a few ways we can do that the easiest way is to follow this needle now if you don't have this needle on that's fine all you need to do is come up here to the course uh, CDI course indicator all you need to do is rotate this to the CDI deflection needle gets to the uh, become sorry the um, the center line aligns itself to the rest of the needle so if I put it at 055 you can see once it's aligned so we are on the 055 radio now all we need to do is just turn I'm gonna leave my bearing on so we're 30 nautical miles away we're traveling in about close to four uh, four miles an hour uh, sorry four miles a minute so you should take no no more than three minutes to get to the station okay so a few things we need to understand here firstly if you look at our CDI I'll cause deviation indicator. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna just turn the uh, bearing one off, so it, so it's a bit clearer for you guys. 
this little arrow here tells you that you are from no correction you are to the station if this little arrow or this little triangle is here which means you are from the station so you're traveling to the station and if this little green arrow um, this little triangle is here you are from the station so in this case we are traveling to the station it's very important um, this little arrow tells you where you are in relative to the station it's very important okay so what we need to do now is just realign to see what bearing we're at okay so what we need to do now just fly towards the station it's very simple okay we have established now okay it's changed a little bit it's fine we we'll just go across here there's a bit of wind coming from the east okay we have established we are on the six seven seven now zero seven five radio so zero seven five radio now the VOR station works like this um, there are 360 degrees of uh, radials um, and these are little signals that are coming out in each degree so we established that we are on the zero seven five radio so we are actually somewhere northeast of the airport at six thousand feet we're flying towards the VOR so what we plan to do is we'll come in okay in this case um, we'll talk about this in a later video. In this case, we are on the, uh, I believe, we can just do a direct entry. So all we need to do is just fly over the the, uh, the station. Okay, we'll fly outbound. Tracking 128 away from the station. And after a minute, we'll just, after a minute of flying over the station, we'll just turn back inbound 308 and just continue to hold. Okay, that's a very simple holding pattern. We won't go into details. All we need to do today is just fly to the station and complete the holding pattern. Okay, let's see where we're at. So we are six miles from the station, we just continue to fly to it. Okay. Now what you can do here is you can align this needle using the course and you, if you click on NAV, the autopilot now would track towards the station automatically you must have this aligned make sure your CDI needle is aligned okay when you get over it you gotta be really really mindful okay a bit of turbulence here that's fine I'm on custom weather so I've set it so that the clouds are quite low and also so that we won't cheat okay so the autopilot will take us on this radar to the VOR and past it. So we really have to be mindful, we need to be observant. The moment the needle has swung around, we will then turn and then what we'll do is we'll start the clock at the same time, then we will adjust the, uh, the CDI to the inbound course and then after a minute we'll turn and intercept and then we'll complete one holding pattern. Okay, it's that simple. Alright, so again to find out where you are, all you need to do is just align this needle. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try something here. Can you actually just click on it and will it align itself? Yes. Okay. What you need to do, let's say, if you don't want to spin this, that that's a that's the um the VR we're flying over. Okay. And now, as you're flying over the station, you're going to get some sort of an error, which is normal. Okay. So click on NAV. Now if you want this to align automatically, all you need to do is just push on the course button, push down the middle. Okay, now we're tracking outbound. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn to the outbound uh, track, which is 128. So we'll just turn left, make sure your heading is on, 128, just dial that in. At the same time, we can come over here and start the clock. So we'll dial 128, at the same time, what we'll do is we'll tune the CDI to the inbound course which is 308 so we'll dial this up here 308 okay that's all we need to do now the winds are about 8 knots so we don't really need to compensate a lot all we're waiting now is for the minute mark and then we'll turn inbound okay we'll just leave the timer up there Okay, so about 10 seconds to go. 
we are about four miles from the station so you can see it sort of works about four miles a minute so after a minute we are about four four miles away from the station roughly okay so now we turn and intercept the inbound course just like that and all you're doing really is just aligning the CDI to the middle okay now once we get closer the needle should start to come towards the middle and what you can do is hit the nav button and the autopilot should automat automatically adjust the airplane and correct the airplane um, and uh, align the airplane to the inbound course okay Right, so an easy way to remember is always fly towards the line, okay? It's quite simple, always fly towards the line. Okay, in this case, we have gone out a little bit. Okay, I've actually flown a little bit further south, that's fine. So this in this case this is a left hand holding pattern. Okay, we'll just fly towards the station and then we'll re-establish. Okay. I can just click on nav now and the aircraft should track. Alright, so yeah, it's not very good station passage. Okay, so once it's gone from to the from, okay, continue flying the hold, uh, flying the holding pattern. Okay, so essentially what we're doing, we're doing race track patterns um, above the VOR. Okay, so what we're doing now is we'll turn to the outbound leg. Okay, and then as soon as it goes from a to to a from, we'll start the timer, and then we'll continue one minute. Um, one minute holding patterns. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll show you what we've done on the map. So essentially what we're doing is that we're doing holding patterns like this. So we're established over the PJM um, VOR. We're flying outbound. We're turning inbound and then once we are beam the station we'll start the timer for one minute so we'll fly one minute down away from the station and then once one minute's up we'll turn back in and then we'll just keep doing this for as long as we want to or as long as we need to and then once we're ready we'll start a descent and then turn towards the airport so essentially what we have done is that we were somewhere out here we found what radio we're on and then we all we did was we turned towards the station And then we establish the outbound track for one minute and then continue the holding pattern.